What's going on everybody? It's Jay Coffee Talk back again with another video for you guys. So we got some uh, news coming out of the sports world. Uh, some very sad news. Two football players that played at the University of Wash Washburn in the Topeka, Kansas area were shot in, in an off-campus incident. Not at the college, it was off-campus. Um, and one of them passed away. Now, the one who passed away, his name was Dwayne Simmons. You'll see the pictures popping up on the screen. Very sad here. Um, the other uh, victim in the shooting, who is in the hospital but expected to recover, his name is Corey Ballantyne, and he was just so selected in the sixth round of the NFL draft by the New York Giants. Now, uh, the, the school gave out a statement the school gave out a statement as well as the Giants. Um, the schools, they're talking about Dwayne, the one who, who, who passed away. Rest in peace to him. He said, Dwayne is one of the most energetic and well-liked players I've ever coached at Washburn. This is the coach, Craig Schurig. Dwayne's infectious smile and love for football and his teammates was truly inspirational. Our prayers of healing go out to his family, his parents, Navarro, and Yasmin Simmons, and... Chiquila Williams and uh, the Giants also gave out a statement as I said the the victim of the shooting Corey Ballantyne who is expected a recovery make a full recovery they're saying you know they just the Giants just drafted him in the sixth round it says we are aware of the tragic situation and continue to gather information we have spoken to Corey and he's recovering in the hospital our thoughts are with Dwayne Simmons' family, friends, and teammates, and the rest of the Washburn community. Now, this is very sad, man. These two dudes, uh, the the one, um, the young man who lost his life, Dwayne Simmons, he still had a year left of uh, school. He was still, you know, he was still playing, but as I said, Corey was making his way to the NFL, so the school's just really, you know, bummed out. As always, someone, a student died, no question, but there, you know, it just stings a little extra because they should be, you know, uh, celebrating that, you know, one of their players was made it to, to the NFL and, you know, was selected in the draft. Now, I, um, when I was, you know, reading up on the story and everything, I was like, Washburn, I'm not, I'm not familiar with that. You know, I'm a big football fan and I'm like, I'm not familiar with that school. And then, you know, when, when I look them up and everything, they're the Washington, Washburn Ichabods. And I'm like, who is this team? Well, it turns out they're a Division Two team. So for this dude, Corey Ballantyne, to go get selected in the sixth round, that's huge. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, players do make it to the NFL out of Division Two schools and sometimes even uh, Division Three. As you guys may know, I'm a Bills fan. Fred Jackson, who came out of Division Three school, one of the best running backs we ever had. But it's just it's huge news which um, it's sad that now the news is that he was shot and that, you know, his friend and teammate passed away. But, um, yeah, I was just totally unfamiliar with this, with this school. And, you know, that's why they're not a D1 school. But think about that. That is huge for a Division II player to make it to the NFL and go in the draft. Now, I, you know, wondered if this if this guy played in D1 and, you know, had some problems or something like that or something didn't work out where he transferred out to a D2 school, you know. But, um, no, he played his whole uh, collegiate career with the Washington, or I'm sorry, the Washburn Ichabod. So that's a huge accomplishment to him, uh, Corey Ballantyne. But things aren't, you know, getting going the way uh, the way he wanted obviously, or the way anyone wanted. That's, that's, it's sad, you know, he lost his friend, he was shot also, but that's just a crazy turn of events to make history, you know, be drafted, be selected in the NFL draft as a, um, you know, a Division Two player, make history, and then be shot and lose your friend in the same shooting. That's just a crazy turn of events. But, um, yeah, basically, I guess he was obviously a standout in the Division Two, you know, in the Division Two sports world, so he's invited to the Senior Bowl, and um, he just has, he just has some crazy speed. You know, he's a, a cornerback. You know, plays in the secondary, and also you know, returns kicks and, and is on special teams and stuff like that. So, 
just um you know I'm gonna uh, keep my eye out on the story the actual shooting there's not really much news on but let's hope for you know uh, uh, I'm gonna you know prayers out to Dwayne Simmons family and um you know we're gonna hope for Corey Ballantyne to make a full recovery and I'm gonna keep an eye out on this uh, guy as far as how it goes in the NFL for him it's it'll be interesting you know to see how he does you know see if um, he overcame the odds to get to the NFL from a D2 school you know let's see if he can overcome the odds and recover from the shooting and you know stay motivated and have a productive career in the NFL you know I'm, I'm a Bills fan obviously but I can't hope I can't help but try and pull for this for this uh, dude and and root for him you know what I'm saying to uh, recover and you know see how things go for him but um thanks for tuning in guys just wanted to bring you guys the story and um as i said uh not much details on the shooting if i you know when more news comes out i uh, will keep you guys updated keep you guys posted but um it's just sad man you know um i possibly you know would not have been up on this dude that he made the nfl went in the draft as a division two player and um you know now i am obviously because he ended up on my radar because of this the shooting story you know him being a victim in the shooting and everything but um it's you know it's uh unfortunate that that had to happen but you know um i wouldn't have i probably wouldn't have known of this dude i there wasn't a, a lot of news out of um i didn't hear anything else of a division two player going in the draft like this or anything but um I don't know, y'all. I'm going to close this video out. Anyone else who knows some Division II players who went in the draft, get in the comments with it. Um, as you guys know, always look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. So um, anything else you want to add to this story or anything that I may have missed, please get in the comments. It's an open thread. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, guys. That's all I got. Hit the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. I blog sports, music, news, life, and more. Stay tuned for updates. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace.